Hey everybody, welcome to my first video of tequila tasting. Um, to start off, I'd just like to uh, tell you a little bit about myself. I started on my journey probably like halfway through last year. Um, and the reason why I wanted to start making videos is because after tasting all these different types of tequilas, I just realized that tequila is a very special drink. There's so many different flavors and flavor profiles of the different types of tequilas, whether it be Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, Extra Añejo. There's a tequila for everybody. I know a lot of people say they've had bad experiences with tequila. They've had bad nights with tequila. But I'm telling you, if you just uh, stick with me on this journey, and we can learn a whole bunch about tequila together. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, the bottle I have today is the Dulce Amagura. Extra Añejo uh, Tequila. This is actually the Collector's Edition bottle. So um, it's pretty special. I was really excited when I found it. Um, this bottle is handcrafted, hand-painted uh, ceramic. And it's it was just really beautiful. The, the one thing that I immediately thought when I saw this was, I have to have this for my collection because it's just such a beautiful bottle. Um, so... Let's uh, open this up, see how it tastes. Here, it smells really good initially, uh, very sweet. Let's see. So, there are a few different types of tequilas. Um, Blanco, which is the clear tequila that you see mostly. Um, it, that is bottled right after the distillation process. Um, it never touches any type of barrel. It's not aged at all. So you get that really fresh agave taste with a lot of those Blanco tequilas. They're usually more peppery, a little more, uh, spicy, if you will. Um, then you have Reposado, which is rested tequila, and that's usually anywhere from two to 12 months in the uh in an oak barrel and they use different type of woods for different type of tequilas but we can talk about that in later videos uh following this uh then there's añejo which is aged and that's from one to three years in those barrels and extra añejo which is aged for three years plus um so this particular bottle was aged for nine years before it was put into uh, this bottle. It's a very labor intensive process um, making tequila. So the craftsmanship, the hard work, it's, it's definitely something beautiful. And um, you see that with the color of this tequila, you have that like amber gold-like color. And that's for sitting in that barrel for so long, it starts to take on these really, really beautiful colors. So uh, the initial smell that I get with this is very sweet. It's like um, brown sugar, honey. A little bit citrusy as well. Uh, I personally smell like some hints of orange and um, a little bit, a little bit of pepper, not as much as obviously like a Blanco would be, right? So you can give this a taste. Cheers. Wow. That's, um, it's like really sweet. Uh, the first taste I get is just sweetness followed by like a taste of, uh, just a taste of a nice agave and um, the only word I can really think of is for is for this tequila is like sweet. It's um sweeter than any other tequila that I've had. Wow, that's one of the best ones I've had too. Um, recently, I've tried the Don Julio 1942, which is really good. I tried the Clase Azul Añejo, uh, correction, Reposado, which is really good. Um, another good one is De Leon, the Diamante um, 
Blanco, that was also really good. But none of them have been as sweet as this tequila. Um, it's just really, really nice. It goes down super smooth. And honestly, I would recommend this bottle to anyone. Whether you like tequila or not, whether you're a heavy drinker or not, this is something really, really nice to sip on. And I think it's pretty awesome. So um, you guys should try it. And if you do, let me know how you like it and we could talk about it. Um, thanks for enjoying this short video. This is only a first one. And honestly, I was a bit nervous. So sorry if I stuttered a bit. But um, uh, thanks guys for watching. And I really appreciate it. Have a good one.